Hi and welcome to another uh, video of Maggie's Peepoot image and today I'm going to look at something that I did not manage to have a successful look at during my recent live stream and that is postmark address with Plasma Desktop. So this is SDDM, the login manager, and we can choose between two sessions here, Plasma and Plasma Valent. Plasma Valent is default, so let's try that first. Also, I'm going to demo conversions, um, but not with, with the laptop, but with uh, the Pine64 uh, dongle there. But uh, I'll first try to log in on mobile. And now the keyboard is so tiny. Uh, I tried this before, so maybe I have altered the settings here to use it that I will just plug it into the dongle right now because I don't think it's very use useful as a mobile. The Plasma desktop isn't really useful as a mobile operating system uh, desktop, but yeah, some people use it like that. And um, I mean, just go for it, people, right? Um, I'm not not at all against that, but it's not for me. So now you're seeing nothing, um, but let me briefly try and get this in the screen here. I'm now typing on my keyboard. Um, 111 is the default password, and then I hit enter, but that doesn't work. I have to actually hit that button, and then it should log in. So let's see how that goes. Okay, that's looking good. I'm going to put the phone down now, hoping that I do not affect the USB-C connection negatively here, and I will try to adjust the Yeah, so now you have a full view of the desktop and um, okay, so it looks like that uh, the that a part of it is um, on the phone, but we can I think we could run K run now. Yeah, let's run uh, use K runner and uh, just type display settings or display configuration. There it is, and choose that in order to switch off the Pine Phone screen because that's looking like this currently, which is uh, likely the same bug that also happens um, with Plasma Mobile um, while uh, trying to use that in conversion mode. And now let's go here and switch off that laptop screen and Let's try and make this primary screen and boom, there we have it. Um, PinePhone screen is off now, getting a low battery warning which is surprising because I thought that the battery I just put into the device was fully charged but I will just connect my charger to the And now it should be fine. Yeah. Also, um, I'm plugged into Ethernet. So, in theory, we should have everything set up, but now it apparently failed. Hmm. That's not a good demo. And the Pine Phone says I should log in again. So maybe there's some overly aggressive setting here. 111. No, I can't press enter. Must hit that button. For whatever reason. And now the screen should in theory wake up again. Oh yeah. Okay, something crashed. And it looks like my 
screen is waking up again. So, there's part of the wallpaper. Yeah, this was much better on my laptop during a previous test. So, maybe the extra 180 pixels this uh, screen has times uh, 1920 are actually not helping here and now again not sure where my mouse is that's a nice wallpaper but that's not why we're doing this right okay Oh yeah, there we are. That looks much better. Almost usable and there's my mouse. On on screen keyboard is deactivated, it says wired connection is enabled. And somehow my mouse is always going to the bottom right, which is to be frank really annoying. But uh, I don't think that's a PinePhone specific bug, that's just my Lenovo keyboard that sometimes acts out. And now it's fine again, whatever that was. So let's see what's pre-installed here. Um, let's go to applications and have a brief look. Graphics, Gwen we view, uh, which is an image viewer, color paint, simple paint program, ocular document viewer, the Oculus is excellent. Uh, sorry, start system settings is there. Uh, Office, yeah, that's you know that one if you're a Plasma user at all. So, applications, Office, okay, that's only Ocular again. Settings, uh, system settings, and iOS preferences, and system as Discover Software Center. Uh, and a um, couple other utilities, Dolphin, the file manager, console, the terminal. Let's start an instance of console too, and then in the applications menu we also have utilities, and that's uh, KFind, KWrite, Kate's Spectacle, Screenshot Capture Utility, Emoji selector and arc an archiving tool. So yeah. Okay, so it doesn't find application backends here. Um, so we need to install further software um, from the terminal. So let's first upgrade this distribution. And. Sorry, that's my German keyboard layout which kicked in there. So there's a bunch to upgrade. I just paused here because I had to get a power connection. Uh, plug my camera phone into power here. So there's a lot to upgrade. I just paused here because I had to plug my uh, camera phone, I'm recording this with into power and let me briefly show you the rest of this setup and that's here oops yeah. that's the Pine 64 convergence dock and that's my uh, Lenovo ThinkPad keyboard plugged into Ethernet power and yeah, the display which is an old HP screen. I got cheap because I had to equip myself for a home office or I felt like I had to do that. And now it's been very useful. Really, 50, 50 euros. It's an elite display E241i. So that screen works um, with the Pine phone.
So now the update finished. These were uh, 130 packages, so quite a lot. Apparently there was a new uh, Plasma desktop and KDE apps release. So yeah. Um, so let me install some additional software because uh, as we saw earlier, the setup is rather bare here. And I briefly searched for stuff I could install and uh, let me go with Caligra, which is some kind of uh, an office for a Plasma Desktop, Falcon, the cute web engine powered browser for the Plasma Desktop, and I thought of Krita, but Krita isn't available, but surprising the KDE and Live, the video editors. So <laughs> just for the lulz, I'm going to install those and launch them later. 28 packages to go. So the additional software installed and Falcon even is here in the bottom bar, so let's start it first. There it is. And this is running from an SD card and it's even a relatively slow one. And now um, there's a request to uh, open the KDE wallet and set a password for it. So I'm just going to cancel this right now because, well, um, oh, and it crashed apparently. There we go again. Two windows for Falcon. Uh, let's cancel this because I don't want to use the password manager anyway. Um, and maybe these are some um, glitches with KWIP win on Wayland there still. But yeah, um, we can now just go ahead and, uh, I don't know open a website like my own blog or something or Maggie's pboot image website dang it Right there, and yeah, well, that's. I think it's pretty okay for light web browsing. And I think the general performance can be compared uh, to a Raspberry Pi three, but the Pine Phone, at least this uh, convergence package Pine Phone, has three gigabytes of RAM, so that's three times the RAM, and that certainly helps um, with um, being a bit more um, flexible with multitasking. So yeah, um, I really don't like that start menu there. Never use it when I use Plasma, so let me just use KRunner to start. Um, what was it? Caligra? Start Caligra words first. There. And there it is. So it has a couple of templates. Of course, we are professionals, so we are choosing the professional letter. Right? And yeah, now. I can write a fancy letter. That has lots of words. And then we can... I don't know. You know, it has all these features. But a quite different UI, optimized for white screens. Um, which is pretty clever, I think. 
but I don't think that this is going to replace, ever going to replace LibreOffice for me. Um, I could now choose a document title and then oh, that's really the dumbest title ever, but first section and set template for that. So, yeah, um, that works just fine. Uh, let's just save this uh, fun document. Really trying to not say expletives here as words test. And it's going to save it as ODT open document format. So, open document text. So, that's fairly nice. And now something crashed. Oh, Baloo's crashed, yeah. But Baloo is one of those applications that do tend to crash. If something crashes on a Plasma Tester, Baloo, which is some kind of file indexing thing, if I'm not completely mistaken. Yeah, so what else is there? Um, there's Caligra Stage. which is for presentations. Of course, we're going with the curious penguin here. Hello? Does this work? No, doesn't work. Also, Linmob apps is not loading. Yeah, maybe I should have used no. And of course, I shouldn't even have put that there. Sorry, not a native speaker, but yeah, um, that's how we could build a funny presentation that everyone would love and whatnot. Yeah, on the Pine Phone right here. And I have to say, I uh, like Caligra Stage. It's not too bad. Uh, it's actually quite funny. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm actually going to use that again because I, I'm not a huge fan of LibreOffice Impress. So. Okay. And then there's one more. Sheets. Okay. I'm thinking it would be something like Excel and I'd say, or LibreOffice Calc, and I'd say student ID card. Ah, okay. Because, yeah. Why not? <laughs> um, blank worksheet. That looks a lot more standard. Let's just put some values here and go. Yeah, works just as you would expect. Nice. So, of course, you wouldn't use it like that normally, right? Uh, but, um, and then there's Kalika Gemini, which I think is the, the mobile office. So it's, well, likely the most, um, most fitting one. And yeah, where did it save my stuff earlier? So I've got all those files now, and now I can open that presentation in Gemini, 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 I think. Right. Or we can create a new presentation. Yeah. 
So, hmm. don't know about this. So, oh, it's not responding. Well, yeah. So I should maybe. Okay, it crashed. Great. So we're done with that, and now uh, finally, uh, just for fun, KDN and live. I mean. I doubt that this will really run at all while on this hardware, but uh, right? I mean, we need to try it. Okay, so, and now, um, let's add a file. And I've got this USB disk, and I've got a tiny movie file on there. And yeah, that's right. And let's just see whether it can play that back once it's indexed it. So that one is really short. Yeah, it shows the clip properties, project bin. Now let's put it here in our timeline. Okay, that worked. Nice. Let's put it to the right place. And I don't have any sound uh, that's connected here, but I need to figure out how to play stuff again in this because I'm really not using it a lot generally. And yeah, I don't see a preview there. Hmm. But it's doing something. I mean, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, uh, that's. I think that's just for fun. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Now that's better. Uh, that would be audio editing. Oh, this is the right view, the editing view. So. I don't don't use this very much. I don't really edit my videos, um, and yeah. So sorry for that. But yeah, um, I think on a slightly more powerful device, this might even work. Although rendering out the video, even for such a tiny one as this one, is uh, likely going to take a while. So let's I don't know. Just go through this here and now it's starting and it's going to use uh, take five minutes, it says. And we won't wait those five minutes. Uh, oh, it's saying it needs less time. So yeah, one and a half minutes for a, I don't know, four second clip or something. Of glitches of Plasma Mobile in convergence mode. But as you can see, um, the Plasma desktop runs okay ish on the Pine phone, so you could use it as a travel computer, I think, um, with the convergence stock. And that's, I think, one more argument to get the $200 version that has this extra gigabyte of RAM and is of course more suitable for tasks like this. Uh, especially if you're just writing, um, you know, I tested GNOME and Plasma Desktop now, and both are the heaviest desktop we have in Linux land, and they worked okay. So I would say that with XFCE or LXD um, or I don't know, Openbox, Fluxbox, something really simple, that can be uh, a decent experience. Uh, if you're just writing, I don't know, LaTeX in an editor um, and you're going somewhere and you might need to change something about your manuscript or something because you've made a publication, why not go for it? Um, why, why not try the PinePhone for that? Uh, it should be okay. Web browsing? Mm, I don't know. I'm going to look into uh, Plasma Big Screen soon. Uh, so uh, we're going to get a me media playback for that, and that's going to be fun too. But yeah, um, 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Have a great week.